Hello, this is David. Uh, today I'll be talking about the Marmot Limelight 2 tent. It's a two-person tent. Uh, I uh, took a hint from another YouTuber and uh, reassigned uh, uh, my tent and fly and ground cloth from its original package into these three containers. They fit better in my pack. This is the ground cloth. This is the tent, and this is the rain fly. And then I use the original uh, tent pole cover, thick cover that uh, came with the tent. Today I'm not going to be talking about how to set the complete tent up uh, in normal order. The uh, first thing I'm going to do is to put down the ground cloth and erect the rain fly over it, which you can use if you want to save weight uh, when you're camping. Uh, maybe you don't have any bugs at a particular time of year. Uh, and then I will show you that if it happens to be raining outside that you can do put down the ground cloth, put on the rain fly, and then erect the tent inside the rain fly so it doesn't get wet. Because the tent itself uh, has a lot of, of uh, netting on it so that if you would set it up in the normal uh, progression where you put the ground cloth down, then the tent, uh, then the rain fly, the inside of your tent would be very wet by the time you got it erected. So let's get started. So the first thing I've done is I've staked out uh, my rain fly. Uh, the rain fly does come with the limelight too. And uh, now I'm going to add the poles. I've also staked this out already. Uh, I'm going to add the poles and then add the rain fly. poles are on a hub. What you do, you snap in at one end. And you bend the poles over. And put it the other end. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put on the rain fly. Uh, normally at this point, uh, you would actually, you would be putting up your, t your tent, uh, first taking it out over top of the ground cloth, then uh, constructing the uh, poles. But uh, for this demonstration, we're gonna show just the rain fly and the ground sheet by itself, and then how to uh, put the tent up inside the rain fly so it doesn't get wet. In front of the tent, We'll be facing the camera. Uh, you can see by the stitching, which there's a window here on the front. That's an easy way to find the front. And then you can tell by the way it crisscrosses up here uh, where it should be in regard to the poles. And all we're going to do is we're going to snap this here at each, each corner. You can uh, slide this up 
make it taut, each on each corner. And I'm going to stick out the door with a vestibule here in this case. Okay, so we have the uh, fly up uh, over underneath the ground cloth and zipped up. This is the way we would use the tent if we weren't, or excuse me, we uh, use the uh, shelter if we uh, weren't going to use the tent inside. As I mentioned before, uh, maybe a, a no bug night you were expecting uh, or just uh, wanted to go a little lighter on the pack. So anyway, now let me uh, uh, demonstrate how to put the tent in side the fly once that you've uh, erected it uh, just in case it's raining you don't want your uh, tent to get wet uh, and you get wet once you crawl into the tent so let me uh, zip it up zip it open here we'll roll this back we would normally we wouldn't do this in a, the real scenario but uh, in order for you to see how I'm erecting the tent inside, we'll have to have this open. I'm also going to put this to one side, a little better view. So I have the tent that uh, we're going to erect inside and also need the brow band uh, to uh, make sure that the uh, uh, tent is fully open once we put it together. Let's find the front door, it's right there, spread it out, get these tabs one each corner. And then what I do first, this, this uh, tent, particular tent, and a lot of the Marmot tents have this type of clip on it either a single or a double and so what I want to do first is I want to clip all these around on the pole Okay, so I have a clip, the bottom clip on each pole. Uh, one of the things I want to do, go too much further here, is to put on the brow pole. And this goes over the two poles that are, or that pole system that's already erected up here. And there's a pocket here where this end goes. And then we have another pocket right here for the other end of that brow pole. Now what you want to do at this point is to go around starting with the back and start adding all the other clips. Okay, now we're all snapped up. As you can see, it's pretty much taken the form you want. And our next step is to uh, 
make sure that the tent is stretched out and uh, well uh, tied down so any wind and so on and so forth isn't going to bother it. So what we'll do is we'll go to each corner. Let me get rid of, not rid of it, but put this down for a minute. Those clips that we brought before, what we do is we take this one, this, the uh, pole out of the ground cloth, and then we clip both the ground cloth and the tent. Obviously you have to do this outside, you can't do it inside the tent. So we'll go around and do each one. Okay, I won't do it for this demonstration, but obviously get your guy wires and tie them out. Make your tent even sturdier, more windproof. So you're done. Again, you would be doing all this with this particular vestibule all tied out, staked out. And what I would do at this point, hopefully you I would uh, have had my backpack uh, uh, covered with uh, rain cover. Uh, I would put it inside the vestibule here and get out all my gear, which would be dry, put it in the tent, it's going to stay dry. Okay, hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Uh, it's the first uh, YouTube video I've made. Uh, Hope I'll hopefully be making a lot more. Uh, just big shout out to uh, Boy Scouts of America, all the scouts, scouters, uh, all you outdoor enthusiasts, and uh, special Semper Fi to all the Marines out there. Take care and have a good day.